Hello, I'm Jennifer Tochi here, and it's top two for Tuesday. Yes, brought to you, who thought of it? I believe it was Joe, the horror man. Yes, yes, so I'm going to do that now. Yes, and I'm wearing my devil horns just to... Get back into the, you know, horror mood. I went out to the movies tonight because it's, say it, it's Tuesday is $5 instead of $7 for the movie. Yes. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched a movie called Dog and that got me. Film a little too ooshy gooshy thing, you know. Okay, and this year is my top two from 1977. Unfortunately, my number one is out on a loan. Yes. But I think everybody will know the movie I'm talking about. Because gosh knows I've talked about it enough. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Gosh knows I've talked about it. I've got it on a three pack when animals attack. Yeah. But let's do number two first. 1977. Yes. From George Romero. Woo! scary isn't it yes um a dynamic gothic original martin <laughs> yes a collector's edition martin is a vampire for our age of unbelief newsweek yes see it with someone you're sure of <laughs> and i love the little Razor blade right there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Martin is both frighteningly and inint <laughs> inintentionally funny. With ironic twist. Hitchcock with envy. Which is true. Yes. Um. Yeah. He appears to be a vampire. Maybe. But you have to watch the movie. To find out if he's a vampire or not now, don't you? Yes. <laughs> I watched this movie about 10 years ago for the first time. And I watched it. I put this in my VCR. And watched it. And I was just going, huh? <laughs> the whole time. And when a movie makes me go, huh? <laughs> Because it surprises me so much. Um, that's a good sign. Yeah. Damn good sign. Yes. Um, it's starring Lincoln Mazel, Christian Forrest, Elaine Nadu, and introducing John Amplass as Martin. Yeah. Yes, written by George Romero. Directed by George Romero, yes. 96 minutes. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, so that's my number two. Now, some things... Some people might be saying, Ah, oh, damn, Jennifer, how can you get better than that? Or... I'll be saying, damn Jennifer, why are you picking this one as your first? But I am. My first is going to be Orca, the killer whale. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, allergies today. Um, Orca, the killer whale is my movie of 1977. And... If it's not returned to me, 
I know where the person lives and they live close to me. And I told them, I will track you down and kill you if you do not return this. They have till t tomorrow night to return it. <laughs> yes. This is the first time I've trusted somebody in but Montana with a DVD. Yes. And I feel uncomfortable as heck by doing it. Yeah. Um, but Orca the Killer Whale. You kill, you know, there's an Orca family living. Living happily in the ocean. You kill an Orca Mama. Man, you kill an Orca Mama. And Orca Mama has a miscarriage. And you lose your Orca baby. Daddy Orca's mad. Daddy Orca gonna get you, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, he is gonna get you. Yeah. And that's basically what this movie is about. Yeah. Or good daddy gonna get you, Captain. No matter where you go, he's coming to get you. Yeah. And that's why I, I like that movie. Yeah. It ain't no damn wimpy shark. It's an orca. It's a killer whale. Yeah. And I love the parts with the point of view where you see him come up from to look at the boat. Yes. He starts ruining, the orca starts ruining all the other boats of the fishermen around them. Um, so the other fishermen will tell the fishermen who hurt his mate and his baby to get the hell out there and get the orca or to catch the orca <laughs> yeah good luck at that you know oh my goodness it is you know it's a depressing movie at times but the whole time you're going kill the bastard orca Kill him, Orca. Kill him. Yeah, get the bastard. Break through the ice and kill the bastard, you know. Hey, and that's what I needed. That's what I needed from 1977. I needed an Orca that was going to kill the fishermen. And, you know, yeah. The fisherman deserved everything he got. <laughs> I feel so silly saying that, but <laughs> that made me happy. <laughs> okay, that's enough for me. Uh, that Diet Dr. Pepper, <laughs> maybe it had a little extra sugar in it, even though it was diet, because it's made me, yeah. <laughs> so I'll leave you alone now. Goodbye. <laughs>